So I want to share a prison-related news story with you guys that I just ran across, and I guess the only thing that you can say about this is, damn, what were they thinking and who told is usually how this comes to be. Man caught attempting to deliver drugs inside VPRJ, Virginia Peninsula Regional Jail. Now, I've never been locked up here. It's a little farther away from where I'm located at, but I've heard things about this jail all throughout the time that I used to serve time. And what I always remember hearing about this place was just how sweet it was. I think I've mentioned that particular thing in the past, and there are some people who have served time there and said, Joe, it's not as sweet as what you might have heard. But during the time that I served and when I was a lot younger, people used to talk about this place like, yo, I wish I was locked up over there instead of over here. Dog, if you wish that you was locked up anywhere at all, you're f***ed up. How about we wish that we were free? or wish that we never got caught, or wish that we lived a better life, possibly didn't drop out of high school. Yeah. I'll never forget being in ninth grade and having that little flyer dropped off on my desk that says, if you drop out of high school, you're gonna end up in prison. I laughed at that, but how right they wore. Yo, when your drug problem is so bad that you're willing to risk the freedom of your friends or potentially family in an effort to try to get the pack in, or maybe you think it's the greatest idea in the world. Maybe it's not a drug problem at all. Maybe it's an addiction to money instead. The icy white honey buns and the keefy coffee like, yo, if we get this in, we're going to be full up and flooded. Maybe it's something like that. Real quick, getting back to this particular jail and the reason why people used to say that this thing was so sweet is because they said that they had like a TV room and that their food was exceptional over there. And when you're locked up in a place where the food's not that great, hearing about another place that does have better food is gonna make you wish you were over there, even if you really shouldn't be thinking that at all. Let me go ahead and show you these three mug shots right here of the three people in question, and it doesn't take much to realize that they look like some complete dumbasses. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I wonder which one of these dumb f was the mastermind behind this idea. Hey, yo, it's gonna work. We're gonna be rich. This is how that movie Blow started out. Whoa, Black Betty, bam, ba, lam, ba, whoa, Black Betty, they're recording their calls. Yeah, there's actually a CO positioned right on the opposite side of the wall with the listening device on, like they're in the little panel van from any number of old gangster movies, Goodfellas. Casino. Williamsburg, Virginia. Hey, we've got an amusement park there, Bush Gardens. Two inmates at the Virginia Peninsula Regional Jail are facing new charges following a recent drug bust. Now, this is bad, okay? I'm going to be your lawyer for a moment. This is really bad. You got caught. You're already locked up. Just tell me you're not already locked up for a drug charge because if you're not, we can say, hey, look, man, the addiction. He's got an addiction. Cue the violin track, please. Your Honor. It's an epidemic out here. It is actually, not to make light of that, but it's almost like a get out of jail free card. You can either go in there and plead guilty, not guilty, insane, or addicted. According to VPRJ officials, inmate Michael Holland and Wesley Kim Ray are facing new charges following the arrest of Jared C. Peck. Look at Jared Peck. Jared Peck doesn't even know what, what year it is. What? Uh, yeah. I'm here to see, uh, it's visitation, right? Uh, excuse me, sir, I'm over here. O over here? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're talking to the plant. <laughs> oh, Joe, you're so bad. You're such a bad, you're such a bad boy. Officials say Peck tried to deliver drugs into the jail and was apprehended during the incident. I wonder if it was during visitation, if it was some other type of a way, but where was he hiding the narcotics when he entered the facility. And if you say in his prison suitcase, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to probably disagree strongly with you and say he probably had that shit in his hand. Hey, yo, uh, is it visitation? Um, again, sir, over here, you're talking to the water fountain. <laughs> what, what is that in your hand? Did you bring me a present? <gasps> good boy, good boy. Oh, it's drugs? Freeze, you're under arrest. I've been wanting to say that my entire life, but because I'm a guard and not a cop, well, so the dude Jared Peck tried to deliver the drugs into the jail, was apprehended during the incident. Holland has been in the custody of VPRJ since November of 2020 and is serving a sentence for probation violations 
for felony assault, assault and battery and shoplifting. Damn, doesn't that paint a picture right there? That man was trying to steal the ink cartridges out the Walmart. Lost prevention, tried to tackle him. He was like, nah, bing, 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 I'm getting away. Drugs will make you feel invincible. I've heard. I, I don't necessarily know. Kimry, on the other hand, who doesn't look a day over 15, was committed to VPRJ in June of 2020. He could be a juvenile. Talk about being committed. Or is that the new thing that we say? We don't say he was arrested. Oh, you can't use the A word. He was committed instead. Soon we're going to be saying that they checked in and we're not going to be talking about PC neither. Yeah, it's not, it's not a jail anymore. It's an Airbnb, kind of. Uh, Kimry is currently awaiting his court hearing on four counts of distributions of narcotics. Okay, look, uh, as your lawyer, and just realizing that you have not one. Only two times. I touched them two times and then that's it, finito, I'm done with them. But I gotta tell you, you know, there was a lot of pressure that came along with this nickname, a lot of pressure. Anytime I touched them, I couldn't touch them one time. I had to touch them two times because you know, it's touch them two times Tommy. But four counts of distribution of narcotics, Addiction and, and playing that card completely off the table at this point. The judge is never going to buy it. He's never going to buy it. You're going to need to tell on everybody that you know. It's probably your only bet. And your dumbass just got caught with uh, trying to get drugs into the jail. Into the jail. Use a dummy. Peck was arrested for conspiracy to deliver the drugs to a prisoner and remains at the VPRJ. Can you imagine? You're sitting there, you're the young little whippersnapper, this dude right here and the other dude, it's visitation. Jared is supposed to be coming to see you, but that visitation don't happen. Yo, maybe, maybe the car broke down. I don't know, man, he should have been here by now. Yo, just give it time, just give it time. He's gonna be here, he said he was gonna be here. Yo, are you sure we could count on Jaren? Yo, he's the most trained to go dude that I know. He's also knee deep in addiction, but look, he'll do anything for an eight ball. Are you sure about this guy? I've been knowing him. I met him off of Facebook Marketplace. Little days of our lives, skit right there. And then all of a sudden you see Jaren coming into the, uh, into the housing unit with his bedding and belongings. Oh, shit. That's your boy right there? Hey, that's your boy. Looks like it didn't work. Hey, what you mean they calling my name over the intercom to go down to the magistrate for more charges? Somebody's going to tell. And it's a possibility that somebody already has, which led to the apprehension of Jared. I'd be curious to know how much time these individuals end up getting for this situation and also be curious to know how the whole thing unraveled. Maybe he was going through the metal detector, the metal detector went off, beep, 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 sir, can you remove your belt? And he just pulls the dope up out of his pocket. Oh shit, oh, my bad, I didn't mean to pull. You said the belt, I thought you meant the, the bag. Or maybe they were in cahoots with other prisoners up in there. There were other prisoners who knew. Other prisoners who acted like they wanted to get high, but they didn't want to get high. They wanted to go home instead, and they told. That's all there is on this story. If you've heard of anything like this taking place, you guys let me know. I'd be curious to hear what you guys have to say about this. How much time you think these dudes are facing? Do you think that they could pull the, hey, I'm an addict card, and do you think that would possibly work? Do you think that that was the motive behind trying to get these narcotics up into this facility? I honestly don't think so. I think it was cool bragging points. Yeah, I'm the plug up in here. Dude, you're 15. Hey, but you got a, you got a gram though. Crazy shit. Uh, don't do drugs, don't do crime, and just leave it all alone. Just leave it all alone. It's, not, it's never gonna pay. Those that you think that you can count on and trust and bid with while locked up, you do not know at all. Your best bet's to trust no one while in there, sort of like the X-Files. Oh wait, that was the truth is out there. But in closing, I'll just say that my own personal opinion, these dudes are fucked. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment on this, letting me know exactly what you thought about this. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace.